Hey y'all, it's your girl Keisha back with yet another makeup on my mannequin video. And this is take two. So what you see me doing here is hitting those brows with our Blackberry Cosmetics Mocha Matted Lipstick. I find it sticks to the mannequin really well, um, unlike using eyeliner pencils and things like that. This seems to work better for me. So yes, what you do to one eyebrow, you do to the other. Mm-hmm. Boom. Then you see me showing you, uh, well, I was showing the shade that it is, but the sun wasn't really my friend. Working on that. Remember, I'm working on angles, locations of where I'm doing these videos. I kept going with it, but, you know. Then I'm going to take my concealer in a shade one and hit underneath the eyebrows. You're going to always use your lighter shade on the bottom. And use something more your skin tone or just a little bit um, lighter on the top. And I do drag that down onto the eyelid. Go ahead and build your base for your um, eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And then as I went to conceal that eye, I realized that my eyebrow was a little bit short. So I grabbed my um, brush again with that mocha left on there. And extended that eyebrow just a little bit more. You kind of want to follow the nose bridge. Mm -hmm. And remember, you're going to take the darker shade to the top. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself. I did way better on this mannequin on... Uh, the eyebrows than I did on the first one. Boom. One swipe. <laughs> yes. All right. So see, here you see me here. I'm trying to clean up some of that concealer. Now I'm going to tell you something I did learn. A mannequin is not a human. Therefore, it doesn't have pores. You know, the body's not going to soak up the concealer like um, it normally does. So I did learn to use way less concealer than... I used on this one. That was a no-no. You only need a little bit when doing a mannequin. Now a human, you know, put it on, do your thing. And here I'm using um, one of my eyeshadows here. I did get this one off Amazon. I don't know the name off my head, but it's an Amazon colorful pat palette. So I took my green here. It looks like a hunter green, forest green on the outside. I then chose a little bit lighter green in the middle. <clears throat> you couldn't really tell, but when you see it up close, you can. And then for the front, I took a glitzy, glimmer, you know, shining green. Very light, but bold statement for that inner eye. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed here I had a little eyeshadow in my eyebrows. Don't be afraid to go back and fix things when doing it. It's just like if you're doing makeup on a human, um, you would do the same thing. You would go back when you see something looks a little off. And there I was just blending that eyeshadow in more. You want it to look as flawless as possible without any jaggy edges. And again, here's me putting concealer under the eye as though she is a real human. That's a no-no. <laughs> You'll see at the end, I kind of had a couple blotches there, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm trying to knock some of it off because I truly put too much. I mean, I can put it, but you only need a little bit for mannequins. Now, if it was a human, you know, you put as much as you want. People like that bottom to pop. I know I do. Again, I'm patting in that eyeshadow, trying to clean up some of that extra concealer. Mm -hmm. You got to trust the process. Trust the process. So then I took my uh, powdered foundation from Blackberry Cosmetics and, you know, tried to um, brighten up the cheekbones or, or just tone it down, so to speak, is what I was really doing. Toning it down, not brightening it up. That was more of a toning thing I was trying to get accomplished. And then I'm like, oh, she looked naked. <laughs> 
I forgot to put her lashes on. So I went ahead and put on her lashes. Already looking better. Mm-hmm. Yes. She blinking now, y'all. Boom. Then I gave her three dots on the side. I don't know what I was thinking, but it just it just went with it. Boom, boom, boom. Then I gave her a mold. Bam. Ha! <laughs> 1995 ready, baby. Yes, honey. She has come a long way. Look at her. And then I went in with our matted lipstick from Blackberry Cosmetic in a shade taupe. Very neutral. Um, our matted lipsticks does dry up. Um, a matte finish lasts all day. I love it. I like my gloss too, but you know. So here she is, y'all, in the flesh. <laughs> Wave part three. <laughs> 